Something big lurks in the grass. It's so large that it's pushing the blades out of its way. It's a monster. A king among kings. With strength beyond any man. Do you see it? Here it comes. Presenting the giant stag beetle. Look at the size of the mandibles. They're immense. Only the males have the large pinchers. And they are used in combat when competing over a female. The males lock together and have a duel. The winner gets the female. The name stag beetle comes from the fact that the mandibles resemble the antlers of stags, male deer. This beetle has been in the dirt, so his exoskeleton is a bit dusty. Usually, the maroon shell shines brightly. Stag beetles lay their eggs in rotting stumps or fallen trees. The larva is a huge grub-like creature that feeds on decomposing wood. Adults can be found here as well. Stag beetles can be found throughout Connecticut, but I don't find them frequently. This guy looks especially good on camera. This insect is about two inches long. Like all other beetles, he can fly. It's impressive to see this giant insect take to the air. His antennae are whipping back and forth, scanning the environment. Notice the unusual looking legs. The joints seem to be able to bend in strange directions. Similar to the Pandorus moth, sometimes stag beetles arrive at outdoor lights at night. They are also attracted to the incandescent light bulbs. But they appear here less frequently than moths. If you happened upon a stag beetle for the first time, you may be scared. But now that you've seen one on Connecticut Naturalist Television, you know they're harmless. They're actually quite friendly. Despite their menacing appearance, the mandibles are only used for sparring, and the adults do not bite people. To prove my point, I'll even handle the peaceful giant. The garden is filled with all sorts of insect life. Consider yourself lucky if you ever find this majestic beetle.